All right, I've had some questions on where to exactly find all of these resources that people are talking about in the course. So when you're in the home course, you know, everything is going to be kind of on this left side in this My Math Lab uh, user menu here. So one of the big parts, um, I always generally just go straight to the multimedia library because it's, I think it's the easiest way to go through and I, I'll kind of hit some of these other buttons. Um, but let's just say that we're in uh, chapter three and we're working on section three, two. Well, if I click this select all button and you can you know, do it just all sections in the chapter if you'd like, um, but specifically to it for a particular section, it'll bring up anything that they have. So they have the chapter test prep video. So this is over everything in chapter three. There's a PowerPoint that goes with chapter three or section three, two, the, the textbook. So if you do not have a hard copy of the textbook, there it is. And then you've got a couple author in action. So videos from the author that go with that. And you can do this, I mean, by chapter, right? If I just want to go all of chapter three, and you can see how they, they have the, the textbook split up by section and all of these videos that go with the chapter, a PowerPoint per section. So you can kind of see a lot of different things there. Um, if we go by, there's just the e-text if you want that. Um, guided lecture notes. Some people like to have something with them as they're working through material there there they are um, so click on that and this will take you word pdf what do you want pc and you can get your notes exactly that you're using um, for the text um, chapter contents again by chapter we'll break it down section three two it's the same basic information um, video lectures uh, that'll take you for that particular section. And they're the same, these are all the same resources in this section here that we had uh, through the multimedia library. So they're in both spots. Um, one other thing I wanna talk about is the study plan. If you are need some more practice, the study plan, and you'll have more, I just have, you know, random recommendations, um, but I'm just gonna keep focusing on section three too. Um, identifying the graph of a function. Here are problems. If they have this video thing, there's a video available for that problem. So if I'm working on that uh, problem, uh, it's coming. Um, question help, uh, textbook, there's the video, um, view an example. You have all of these within the questions, these problems. Now, when you're doing your homework, you also have this question help button, which I believe is a help me solve this, which is what I prefer because it walks you through step-by-step -step what to do. View an example just walks you through it and it doesn't make you think at all. You just kind of read through it. And then you have this ask my instructor button. If you're stuck on a particular button, if you click on that, you can see that this will go directly to me um, and you can type your, your question like I don't understand this problem or I'm stuck on part two, whatever, and send it. It goes to my email and it sends me a link to the exact question that you're talking about so that I can give you specific feedback on that particular problem. So I think that's kind of a, just a real quick walkthrough on the different resources within my math lab.